Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. You know, on Monday, the new iPhone 3G got so much attention that a really big announcement wasn't much talked about. That is the announcement of Snow Leopard, Mac OS 10.6. Let's go and take a look at what we know. Now, Snow Leopard is expected to ship about this time next year, according to Apple. So that will put it at next year's WWDC. In the past with Leopard, it actually shipped after WWDC around October. So maybe that's more likely. Now, what's going to be in Snow Leopard? Well, Apple has said that they're putting a pause on new features. In other words, don't expect really anything new. Instead, what they're going to try to do is optimize some things, basically make a better Leopard. Now, by naming this next OS Snow Leopard, it seems to suggest that it is just an extension of Leopard. Maybe we'll even see a price break and have an upgrade price this time. Now, there's going to be two new pieces of technology in Snow Leopard that use multiple processors for faster computing. The first one is called Grand Central, and it allows every piece of OS X to actually use all the processors in the machines. Right now, we've got Mac Pros with eight processors, and we may see Mac Pros with 16 processors as Intel increases the number of processor cores on a chip. Grand Central will also be able to be used by developers to be able to put some of their processing needs into the multiple processors without having to write special code. The second piece of technology is called OpenCL. So OpenCL actually doesn't use the multiple processors, it uses the graphics processor. The graphics processor and the graphics cards inside the Macs are really powerful. And what OpenCL does is it allows the programs to be able to use some of that processing power in the graphics card for certain calculations. Another piece of optimization is going to be a new JavaScript engine inside of Safari, Safari 4. Now JavaScript is the scripting language that's used on web pages for all sorts of things. It's used all over the place. So having a faster JavaScript engine is going to mean faster, cooler web pages. Now it's unclear at this point whether Safari 4 is only going to be for Snow Leopard or whether there will be a Safari 4 also for Standard Leopard. Another piece of optimization might be file size. It looks like Mac OS X is going to be slimmed down with Snow Leopard, so it will take less drive space. And then the same might translate over to some of the standard Mac applications. Apple has said basically that there's going to be a smaller footprint so we have more room on our Macs for music and video. It looks like QuickTime is also going to get some optimization in Snow Leopard. QuickTime is what the Mac uses to play back video and a lot of audio as well. Now it looks like there's going to be something called QuickTime X. QuickTime X will be a brand new version of QuickTime that looks to have the same features potentially but just be faster and better. Well, it looks like there was an announcement of at least one new feature that will be in Snow Leopard and that's going to be support of Microsoft Exchange 2007. Now, Exchange is something a lot of businesses use to facilitate communication between all the people in the organization. It brings together email, contacts, calendar events, all sorts of things like that. Pretty much dominates the business space for this. So having support for that in Mac OS X will certainly help it in the business space. It also looks like Snow Leopard will be able to handle more memory in the machine. Each version of the OS seems to be handled a little bit more memory. And now that we commonly have machines that have 2, 4, or up to 16 gigs of memory, it's great to hear that Snow Leopard can handle even more. Actually, it will be able to handle up to 16 terabytes of memory. That's a lot of memory. Now Apple has a page up on their website already that tells you a little bit of information about Snow Leopard. There's not much there besides what I just said, but perhaps this page will be updated in the coming year as new developments occur. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Let's see, according to Wikipedia, the Snow Leopard is also called the Ounce and lives in Central Asia where there's about 4,000 to 7,500 of them and about 6,700 in zoos around the world. Um, it, they can weigh up to 165 pounds and they have furry feet that act as snowshoes.